Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful piece. This is a 1984 Camaro Z28. It's showing 37,000 miles in the odometer. Very clean throughout. If you guys want to find out full details, click on the link below. Underside shots, this awesome video, along with exterior outside shots. Let's do it. As I look at the overall condition, I'd rate this one a seven and a half to eight out of 10. I know the editors hate when I do that, but this is a really nice example. It looks like it's had one repaint in its life. This has a lot of cool options. So this has the five liter high output, which produces 190 horsepower. It's made it to an automatic transmission. In regards to the exterior, paint is extremely nice. The blue metallic looks great, and I love the interior to match the actual exterior colors. You do have black accents throughout, and I love the Z28 style wheels. These are also one of my favorite wheels because they remind me of the GNX or the uh, Turbo Buick. A lot of guys put those on there. This does have the same designation for the rear end, so this has limited slip, so it has a G80 rear end. Uh, this also has four-wheel disc brakes, 1984 four-wheel disc brakes. That's cool. I mean, obviously the, the Corvette at the time had that. I think they started doing disc brakes in 65 for the Corvette. So I guess it's not that unusual here. In regards to overall condition on the sides, very, very clean, brand new tires on it. The wheels are in excellent condition, new center caps as well. This is a turnkey unit. So you have cruise control, cold air condition, power steering, power brakes, the list goes on. If you want to see all the detailed information, so I'm holding a copy of the uh, build sheet here or the window sticker. We'll have that in the gallery. It looks like the original purchase price was 10.6, and then all the options. So you have rear window defogger, you have the electric twin remote sport mirrors, very nice. Locking rear storage cover, uh, limited slip, power disc front and rear, uh, five liter high output, so with the four barrel, automatic transmission with overdrive. Uh, comfort steering wheel, uh, auxiliary lighting, heavy-duty battery, okay. Uh, dual horns, uh, and then you have the sport coupe, which is continued on. And the dark blue custom cloth interior was $287. The options were pretty cheap back then. You're talking about the most expensive one was the removable glass panels, 850 bucks. Everything else was around 200 bucks. Let's spin it and show you the other side. We're on the passenger side right now. In regards to imperfections, I don't really see any on the sides. There is a small imperfection on the hood. It's like a little crease right here, and that's really it. Otherwise, paint shows very well. Interior is very nice, and we're gonna go over that later on. Tires are like new. Underneath it, if you wanna see underside shots, click on the link below that has all the underside uh, components. This does have upgraded uh, exhaust manifolds, exhaust. Rear end was just rebuilt and we have a lot of service receipts. So if you guys are looking for a turnkey cruiser that looks beautiful, this is it. Let's talk about this interior. Interior is extremely nice. All of your power functions work for the driver's seat. You have the deluxe steering wheel that's a leather wrapped. Your center section, extremely clean. And my favorite part, when I was looking at this car to buy it, the clock still worked. Another amazing feature, let me get inside here. Obviously you have power windows that operate. Are you ready? Yeah, that's right. There's a flashlight built in and it still works. That's just so cool. You also have a uh, trip, I guess, module here. I don't know how to work this, but if someone knows how to do it, please let me know in the comments below. When we take off the T-tops, they're extremely easy. It was super satisfying to hear the rubber just like pop right off of it. All the metal's very nice. Your headliner's nice. Interior, so our gauges all operate. Lights work as they should. You do have climate control, which operates. Aftermarket radio with the ability to talk on your phone. And then just look at these seats. They're so beautiful with these stripes. Also door cards are very nice. You have your Z28 badge right here. I'm in love with it. Let me start it up for you. And I'm a Ford guy, but this is cool. Hold on. It's got a four barrel. There we go, listen to that thing. Woo! Taking a look under the hood, it's extremely clean. So this is powered by a five liter that produces 190 horsepower because of a four barrel carburetor. 
This does have shorty headers, so it sounds really good when you start it up, along with new wires, along with all service receipts. So we have receipts from the prior owner. We're going to have all that in the gallery. All the belts look good. It looks like it's just been serviced. The uh, oil sticker was showcasing that it was just done. Uh, in regards to this car, so when I bought it, the battery died. And I found out about the old school alarm that it had. So we were able to find the service manual and disable it. So it's not on right now. It does have a, a pager and we are going to include it. We're going to include all the instructions, but that was not fun getting it off the trailer, trying to start it and it would, cr it wouldn't even crank nothing. So we disabled it. It runs amazing now. And you guys are going to see that shortly. We're going to pop the hatch so I can show you how beautiful it is back there. And then we'll open up that door and shoot it out that door for you. Before we pop the hatch, I want to showcase another option. So it has a rear wiper along with a sprayer. Listen to that. They still work, baby. Glass is very nice. All of your metal throughout is extremely clean. Here's your contacts for your, uh, for your wiper motor. And then you guys can't see it, but underneath here, oh yes, look at that storage compartment that locks. You also have a little storage box here as well. You have space to put items. Let me open up this side box. I know you're not able to see any of this, but it's really neat. So here's a little side box for more storage. And all the keys operate, two sets of keys. You have the covers here that will roll out. It's neat. Let's spin it around and take it outside. Before we go for a test drive, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Also, if you enjoy watching us sell these cars, be sure to take a look at some of our merchandise. We have the moving metal tee on special right now. So I know Emil hates when I push this button because he hates the smoke machine. But when the smoke comes a lurking, we're going to go drive around. It's going to take forever. Bye. It's cool though, and I don't know how to turn it off now. So we're gonna take the Z28 out for a test drive. So far, my impressions, very smooth. Engine sounds great with those manifolds on it or those headers on it. Your air condition actually works, so I could turn it on to the max setting, and it is blowing cold air. Your rear sprayer still operates, so you can hit that, and you can hear the motor go, but I don't see any water coming out. Uh, lights operate as they should, so I can put the lights on. Brakes are even. Shifter and center section are extremely clean and the clock is still working. All of your power windows work as well. So I just put them down. T-tops are off right now because it is beautiful here in Florida. It's 65 degrees and uh, why not take the tops off? Does have the bag to stow the tops properly. We have that and it's gonna be photographed in the gallery. If you wanna see underside shots of this one, just click on the link below. That'll have uh, basically underside shots of the full gallery, inside, outside shots, so you guys can make a decision on this 84 Camaro. It's powered by a five liter, made it to an automatic transmission, four wheel disc brakes, power steering, power brakes. It also has cruise control, which we could test out later on in the video. We're cruising right now on 84, we're headed west, and then we'll do a U-turn so you guys can see how it drives. Very, very smooth. Let's see, we'll put it, downshift it. feels good. I love the speedometer. So it, it has two readings. So it has one that's showing it's white, which is showing your speed. And the other one is orange. I don't know what that's for. So if someone knows what that is, just let us know in the comments below. Dash is very nice. All of your headliner materials are very nice. Looks like it's been refinished. And then you also have the uh, trip meter here. I don't know how that works. So someone has to leave a comment below. Interior is very comfortable. It's nice and smooth. As I said before, we're going over some bumps right now. And we're gonna go over some bumps right here and you'll see how the suspension reacts. Not bad at all. You can drive this every day. Rear seats are very clean. Seat belts work as they should. I know I don't have my seat belt on right now. Uh, that's because it's gonna hit the microphone, so I apologize for that. We'll be doing a U-turn here, and then we'll test out the acceleration, make sure it shifts through the gears properly. I might gate shift it to see if we can get it to chirp. Uh, rear end was just rebuilt, so we have the receipts for that as well. Turn signal is operating. And we'll test out the cruise control once we get on the back road. 
All right, let's test out the acceleration. Woo! Feels good. Brakes are even as well. I'm testing the brakes out right now. No issues. Let the camera truck catch up right now. Put it back into overdrive. This is a nice, clean example. If you guys are looking for a turnkey classic from the 80s, this is it. Give us a call, 954-363-2261. Once I take the corner here, we'll test out the cruise control, and then we'll get you some beautiful artistic shots. This needs to go into somebody's Chevy collection for sure. This is the part of the video where we go over the speed bumps to showcase the suspension once again. We did it on the bridge over there, and now we're gonna go over two consecutive bumps and a big dip so you can see how it reacts. Here comes the first set of bumps. And then the big dip. Nice and smooth. Let's test out the cruise control. So we'll turn it on. And cruise control operates. I'm using the cruise control to accelerate right now. Let's turn it off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, give us a call. 954-363-2261, I'm out of here. <laughs>